Welcome back to my channel guys and today we're going to be talking about Palantir. It looks like it could be hitting $50 in the next month. Before we get into this video, if you are new here as well, please hit that subscribe button. I show you my portfolio once a week as a lot of people see, like to see my updates with my portfolio. I also share the hot stocks that I'm interested in buying and also sharing some news that's happened with them stock. Also give this video a like and let's get into it. So Palantir is at $35 at the moment, but pre-market I think it's at $36 or something like that. But we'll get into that later on in the video. I've got 119 shares and I'm up 35% on the position. So it's not looking too bad at the moment. It's had a really good run up recently. I share my holdings in the videos because I know you guys like me doing that. I did ask if you didn't want me to, but a lot of people said, no, please do. We like to see how you're getting on. So that's why I'd show people. Before I do forget, I do want to say, should I make a Discord group? Because I've heard a few people wanting me to make one, but I wasn't sure if many people would want to join it. So leave in the comments if you want me to. So in the last day or two, Palantir have actually got a new contract, which is amazing. And we kind of would expect that after the demo day, after them showing off their products and how Foundry works and Gotham, etc. So Palantir reaches a license deal with mining giant Rio Tinto. Palantir Technologies on Thursday said it has signed a significant multi-year agreement to license its Foundry analytics platform to mining giant Rio Tinto. This is also interesting. Rio Tinto said in a statement that the agreement is an important step in our digital transformation, enabling fast paced, forward looking decision making across our operations leading to improved results in safety, cost and production. So that's amazing news to hear about the contract, but actually the stock market didn't react that well. Palantir didn't react too well with the news. It actually collapsed quite a bit. And if I'm honest, I kind of was expecting a bit of a drop off with Palantir with the rate we've been going. And like I said, I will show you a little bit of my analysis of where I think the stock could be going, but we'll get into that later. Let's head over to the option chain because this is what I want to show you guys. This is so interesting. So at the $50 strike price for 19th of February, there's 19,628 contracts in people's brokerage account. So if you times that by 157, that gives you a total of nearly $3.1 million being bet on this price target of $50. And I can see this happening because it is the 19th of February. We would have had our lockup period ending on the, is it the 13th or the 14th of February? Something like that. It's near earnings. So yeah. And we know there's going to be a bit of a sell-off. Well, we think there's going to be a bit of a sell-off at lockup period. And that's where I'm going to be buying. That's where I'm saving some money because if this does drop off a lot, I'm going to be buying. And then once that lockup period's done, after a few days, I can see us having a big run up possibly. And that $50 right there is interesting to see. All right, so you can see on the chart, I've actually put like a highlighter at the top. There's like these dots. I didn't know really know what to use, but that little yellow dot bit there, as you can see on the screen, is where the $50 mark is on the 19th of Feb. So that's where the kind of the reach is the goal. If you actually look at the trend line as well, that also helps because it doesn't it means it won't be as steep because if you if you change the trend line to head towards that it gives a bit more of um, a steady pace to that $50. These blue lines are the support lines that I can see us potentially dropping to when the lockup period happens and these are kind of like my buying opportunities for me anyway these are going to be where I'm going to be buying. Um, so like $31 I think that'd be amazing that price if we can get to that because I can see us short term up to earnings kind of increasing maybe back to a $40 mark. I'm more thinking a bit long term at the moment in the sense of the lockup period happening and there's going to be a bit of a sell off. So the $31 range is where I'll be buying if it gets to that on the lockup period or could it even potentially drop all the way down to $29. As you can see $29 is the next kind of support line I would say. So these are the two points where I'm going to be buying at. So the $31 range and the $29 range if it gets to that it might not get to that I'll be loading up quite a bit even short term on the two hour mark like it is just following that trend line at the moment that green trend line and that is quite interesting to know it looks like it could reach a $35 range and bounce off short term so yeah this was quite a short brief video but I wanted to share you guys this information with the contract 
and the option chain of where people are thinking the stock could be going in the next few weeks. I have to admit, I'm not amazing at analyzing stocks. Um, I'm trying to get better myself. So if you can help me improve, that'd be amazing. But I just follow, I try to look at where the trend is kind of heading and look at my support levels. And I do also tend to look at the MACDs and the RSI. So yeah, I'd just like to know where you are thinking of buying this stock, if you are thinking of buying the stock. Where do you think we are actually gonna be heading short term at the moment? If you did enjoy this video and you want to stay up to date with my holdings and see where I'm at and getting on with, then please hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that would be amazing. I'll see you guys in my next video and hopefully, fingers crossed, Palantir is going to the moon.